let's say China. China, 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 China. You go over to China, 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 China. I know China very well. China, 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 China. Northwest Wisconsin, where I'm from. It's China to me. China, 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 China. You want to buy from China? That's great. Ladies and gentlemen, Donald J. Trump. <laughs> What a great honor it must be for you to honor me tonight. <laughs> Especially here, where I've made my name and fortune, New York City. Great place. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Mr. Trump, sir, why would you ever do this roast? Honestly, it was worth it, because it's all going to charity, and they paid a lot, believe me. But the truth is, I specifically handpicked these recession-era basic cable nobodies so that the city I love, the city that never sleeps, could finally get a well-deserved nap. That's right. This dais is the perfect metaphor for where America stands today. Look at our economy, barely moving, gasping for air, and desperately clinging to life, very much like Larry King. <laughs> the only difference is, with Larry, we have a never-ending supply of gas. <laughs> never ends. This great country of ours